Welcome back, I'm CJ Good. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put handles on this original Planet Junior. I'm going to be using the handles from one of my dad's other wheel hose as a template. For copying these, I'm going to use 1x4s. It's a little mouse. It's getting the lumber and I found a little mouse. He just ran under there. Here, watch this. Look at him! It's kind of a cute mouse. It's cute. Gerald, come back! <laughs> Gerald! <laughs> Gerald! First step is going to be tracing this handle on to this one by four. Now that I've traced out the handles, I can use the jigsaw. Funny thing I want to show you guys, while I was getting the lumber for the handles, uh, we uncovered a mouse and I caught it. And my little brother immediately was like, I want it, I want it. And that should be done. He named it Gerald. Before I can sand the handles, I'm going to cut out the holes for it to attach onto the wheel hub. Now I'm going to cut out the hole for the brace towel. For the sanding, I'm going to be using an angle grinder with a sanding attachment on it. Now that I've sanded it, I'm going to polish it up with some 220 grit. Now, at long last, I can attach the handles. I found some old, uh, some old bolts that will fit perfectly. So, get some washers here and here, and screw it in. Perfect. Very sadly, he didn't put the washers on. So the wheel hoe broke in a tragic accident, killing multiple people. Both of the multiple people that he killed aren't alive anymore. None of the people that he killed are alive anymore. I cut a broomstick to the right length to go here and here. So now I'm going to carve each end to be able to fit into these holes. So I have my dowel all carved out how it needs to be. Now it'll go right here, and then right there. And that is a very tight fit. Planet Junior sweepstakes. Don't I get one of those giant checks? Oh, it's even better than that. Brought you an original Planet Junior. Oh, it's cool. You just put it with the other ones.
Good job. I was thinking of taking the uh, oscillating hoe blade that I have. I have a backup one from my Planet Whizbang wheel hoe, which should fit this Planet Junior because I think Herrick Kimball based his design off of this design. But I don't think I need to. These triple shoes on here are really, really good at tearing up the ground. And I might just leave my, my Planet Whizbang for weeding and then use this one for cultivation and light weeding. And I mean, it rips the ground up so well that I could just go through an area and rough the ground up with this super easy and then throw down some cover crops or seeds or whatever I wanted to do. So this is a, this is super good. And for those of you that think it's, uh, you know, you're, you're not sure if you want to have kids or not, come on, as your kids get older, there's an incredible amount that they can do. I mean, provided you actually, you know, give them tools to work with and that sort of thing. But over time, you'll realize that, that basically all you have to do is sit around and tell your kids like, hey, make this thing happen. Hey, make this thing happen. No, no, don't do that. Work with them, but learn how to work. And uh, I am I'm so glad that uh, CJ could put this thing together for me. I noticed that he used a uh, broom handle here and just just build this sort of thing. It was, I was out getting the tires aligned and I was like, I'm gonna be gone half the day uh, with some tire replacement, alignment, all kinds of other stuff and some errands. And I was like, man, if the kids could just film a video for me, if they could put together this wheel hoe, that would be awesome. And then they did. So PT filmed, CJ did the beautiful carpentry work. Thanks for joining me. If you want to learn more about my favorite tools for the end of the world, you might enjoy my book, Grow or Die, The Good Guide to Survival Gardening. Definitely I am into the old hand tools and there's a lot you can do without having to spend money on gas or expensive stuff from China. So you can check that out. I'll put a link below to Grow or Die. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. Is it supposed to go to the outside or the inside?